So we're at Ashton Gate for the second installment of our games we're going to be playing against Bristol City in this series this season. We also beat them at the Carter City Stadium uh, earlier on in this series. Hopefully we're obviously going to do the double over them and obviously win a seven side dog. But this is a team I'm going to be feeling against them. No changes apart from John coming in for Bennett and Rawls coming in from uh, the bench and being uh, obviously uh, getting in the starting 11 ahead instead of uh, Whittingham. That aside, let's get into the game then. And uh, yeah, instructions uh, a bit different. Mentality, normal, attacking style, down both flanks, pressing all over, tempo, normal, passing style, mix, and tackling style is aggressive, and the player instructions are as all uh, you know, they are normally are. That aside, let's get this game right underway here then, and hopefully we can have away three very important points that we do obviously need. But, Rest will actually have a penalty right here. <laughs> Lee Tomlin is stepping on the next Bournemouth striker, and it's 1 0 to Bristol City. Excellent. We're trying to make a 1 1 though, and it is Junior Hoyland, number 9, and now from Canada, making 1 1 11 minutes into the game. Three minutes after Tomlin opened the scoring, so not too bad if you ask me. There's a lot of chance here though, and they go ahead and score it. Uh, Patterson this time. In 20 second minutes, we are 2 1 down at the moment. Manga taking down Tomlin right there. Referee could take action, and it is a yellow card to man from Gabon. I remember Bambo always had to uh, pick up yellows, actually. It's uh, becoming a, a very recurring theme in this series. But honestly, well, we are losing, and it's pretty risky to do what I'm doing right now, as you can see. But I want to win, and I'm just going to literally go all out and hope, obviously, that we can go ahead and do that. Changes have been requested then. We need to bring anyone on yet. Uh, the players are really uh, tired, uh, so you know there's no point in wasting a substitution we might go ahead and need. Richard sends it across to Hoylet. O'Donnell making the save. Not able to pick up what it would have been the second goal of the game and a brace for him. The tennis 15 yards of 479. Let's go ahead and make some changes now. Obviously, the instructions that I did go oh, uh, obviously set aren't really making any difference at the moment. We're gonna bring on Pilkington for Noon, we're bring on Whittingham for Rawls. And we will go ahead and bring on uh, not Bennett. Uh, let's leave him on the bench for this game. Bring on Morrison for Manga because uh, obviously don't really want Manga getting uh, sent off and uh, missing the next couple of games. We'll be obviously uh, having. I'm looking forward to Gerson swings the corner in then, and it is two two, and it is Declan John, the guy I've just brought on. Brilliant, two two. Then can we uh, go ahead and perhaps pick up? Three very important points. Looks like actually we're not going to go ahead and do that because uh, we've given away another penalty and Tomlin is going to step up <laughs> and score. Uh, what well, is his second of the game? And uh, that's absolutely brilliant. We've got a chance here. Can we make it free free? Nope. O'Donnell making the save uh, again, which is very annoying. Despite uh, absolutely dominating the game. We have gone ahead and lost 3-2 away from home at Ashton Gate. Tomlin with two goals, those goals being penalties. Patterson uh, completing uh, Bristol City scores and then Holt and John for us. We uh, These 11 games that we have left in this uh, particular season and uh, just see what happens. V-Bay going for the uh, chance to make it 1-0 to Brentford right there, but it's a good save from Alan McGregor. Nice if we give a clean sheet for once as well because that's not really happened as of late. Well, a chance at Gnog Bay, Hoylet, you get the save in the end from their goalkeeper. What could have been, didn't obviously turn out to be what should have been. And it ends 0-0 uh, at half-time with Griffin Park at Brentford Stadium. Um, I think I'll put Noon perhaps where Hoylet is, try Noon in a more attacking position and uh, drop Hoylet back a bit. See if that makes any sort of difference. I know Hoylet's been scoring a lot as of late, but uh, not been very influential so far in this game. So let's see if Noon can uh, do something special now up front in his position. Gunnison puts the ball into the penalty area, hits the post it looks like, and goes wide. Looks like that was Gnog by there, um, getting involved. And from Benin, obviously coming into the team following the injury of Kenneth Zahoyer, which is, I think, uh, been a pretty big loss, if you ask me. We'll bring Gook on uh, Wittick now for Rawls. We'll go ahead and bring on Cookington for Noon. And uh, yeah, just make the two changes for them, just in case uh, we get injured or something like that, or a red card. Also, fingers crossed we're going to go ahead and do that. Galong Bay 
uh, with a chance to Whittingham, going for the effort, it's easily said, but they go from Bonham now. We're not only dominant, I hope we really come away with three points if we should. And finally, my wishes and prayers get answered. Frederick Gnog by 78 minutes, making 1-0 to us. Can we go ahead and make it 2-0 now? Gunnison send it in, and Gnog Bay finally uh, doing something uh, that obviously is influential in the fact that he's scoring. So, uh, yeah, two goals for him. And it looks like it's a clean sheet for us finally. And we win the game 2-0 away from him at Griffith Park. Gnog, we're picking up the goals in the 79th, 83rd minute. We left it late. We have gone ahead and won that game, which is very important for us. So Uh, feeling throughout this whole episode so far and here we go then away uh well we're going away from home that is at the city stadium and we're gonna have taken the lead already he <laughs> runs into the game the x-man united player nick powell what an absolutely amazing start could have been 2-0 down here if we're not careful alan mcgregor though making a very important save right there for us to keep us uh somewhat in this game slightly into the game here Although uh, Wigan are utterly dominant, as you can tell by all the highlights that we're seeing. Nick Powell almost making 2-0 to them. Uh, obviously, thankfully, it didn't go in. And instead, we make it 1-1. And it is that man again, Junior Hoylett. And it is an assist for Aaron Gunnison. All of Nick Powell takes a free kick and scores. Uh, so, yeah, we got a Christian Ronaldo Christian wannabe in terms of taking free kicks right there. Bring on Wettingham for Gunnison then. And also go ahead and bring on Bennett for John. And we'll leave things as they are right there. Want to make some changes, freshen up the team as we go into the second half. In what is obviously a very important game for us. As you know, we're going to be looking to want to win. Third corner, sending in by Gunnison. And it's put in by Frederick Gnogbe. Good start to the second half for us right there. Gnogbe really uh, showing what he can do as of late. Although McGregor uh, spills it and it is a hat-trick for Three two to Wigan. But we send it into the box and it is free fee for us. Uh, Junior Hoyle is getting an assist right there, and that's a brace for Gunog Bay. Let's go ahead and take this time to make some changes then. Uh, the final changes we're going to be going ahead and making. Well, let's go actually bring Clickington uh, um, to replace Noon. I want to take on my front two. They've been very good in terms of what they've done for us this game so far. An assist for Hoyle, a goal for Hoyle, and two goals for Gunog Bay. Final play, we got free kick here. Gunnison to take it. And uh, Harris is shot, unfortunately, is saved by the Hungarian Adam Bogdan. I want to do anything else in terms of, uh, you know, uh, any instructions. But the game ends 3-3. Uh, not bad if you really look at the uh, match statistics right there. All right, I'll set your screen. Hatch for Nick Powell, uh, two goals for Gnogba and one for Holt. So that's a 3-3 draw to Carter City Stadium and a point picked up. We're currently sitting in 10th in the table, being in obviously very, <coughs> uh, excuse me, very inconsistent form as of late. However, in this season, we've got 63 goals, to see 56, a goal difference of seven. Five points behind Brighton now, who are in ninth place, and uh, six behind QPR and Nottingham, respectively, who are in seventh. So, uh, you know, we are only 12 points behind Derby, but um, I don't really think we're, we're really involved in the playoff uh, promotion push. But, you know, perhaps we can still get it. As you can see, Derby have not been in great form as of late. And we've actually got them uh, coming up in our next game. So, you know, that's a very important game, actually, now, considering actually the gap isn't as, as uh, large as uh, I thought it was. So, a must win game as we look forward uh, to obviously this coming up next Friday again. Until I know, thank you very much for the video, guys. I've been in anything took. And until when I upload next, which is probably going to be on Sunday, actually, come to think of it now. Peace. Yeah.